be well spoken, pet. But save your breath, lass. You'll be needing it for when you scream, I do. Where, where are we? Don't you be remembering this place, Freepwood. Twas not long ago that I trapped you here to suffer tortures most foul. Wait, I can remember. I've seen this place before. In some terrible nightmare. Twas no mere nightmare, Guybrush. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Oh no, it can't be. But it is. This is the Carnival of the Damned. Aye, the Carnival of the Damned. You fiend, why have you brought us here? There be two reasons, you pathetic privateer. I be intended to torture and kill ye. And I'll be given Elaine a treasure. Ah, you're wasting your time, Lechuck. Elaine's love can't be bought. Ah, but this be a very special treasure. This be the fabled treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? Aye, the very pirate treasure you were searching for before I caught up with ye. What's so special about the treasure of Big Whoop? Isn't it just like any other pirate treasure? I see. Ye do not yet know the dreadful power that be Big Whoop. I guess not. Quake in fear, Threepwood, when I tell thee that Big Whoop be a damned portal to a demon netherworld. Okay. The treasures of Big Whoop be the very gates of hell themselves! <laughs> Yipe. But how will Big Whoop make Elaine love you? Elaine shall pass through the hoary gates of Big Whoop, just as I once did. Down to the inky blackness of the infernal nether regions. For you see, Big Whoop gives those who pass through it the greatest gift of all. Immortality! But at what cost? Cost? <laughs> Granted, the people may find me a bit unapproachable now. And the smell does take a while to get used to. But it be worth everything now that I have the power to make Elaine love me. But if you kill Elaine, won't she hate you even more? Aye, at first. But soon she'll be understanding what a grand gift eternal life be. And besides, the dating pool be surprisingly small when you're the living dead. She'll just have to give me another chance. This whole amusement park, why? The Big Whoop Carnival was my most brilliant idea. Once I had the power of Big Whoop at my command, I could make Elaine mine at last. I see. But again, why an amusement park? I'll be getting to that. I knew Elaine would need a little coaxing, and that I'd be needing an army. A horrible army of the undead. Okay, but why an amusement park? Are you going to let me finish? I'm not talking just to hear myself talk, you know. You're right. I've been rude. Please, go on. Everyone knows that the life of a seaman is a long, hard, lonely one. Sailors spend months longing for just a few days' leave. And you know what they're looking for as soon as they get into porty. Uh... A family-oriented fun park! Oh, that. <laughs> of course. They come to take a ride on the giant roller coaster, the Great Monkey Mountain. They reach the top of the highest peak, and then hands in the air, screaming like monkeys. They plunge down the slope into a great stream of lava. That doesn't sound the least bit fun. Aye, it's not. In fact, it's downright unpleasant. But when they reach the other side, they're fitting warriors for my skeletal army of the damned. How did you find Big Whoop? That be a long story. Are you sure you want to hear it? Does the torture start after we're done talking here? Aye. Go on then. Back when I were alive, Elaine despised me. No. No, 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 it's true. I can see that now. She didn't like me at all. 
but I were determined to prove me worth to her, you see. So, I set sail to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. Been there, done that. Well, I did it first, you nefarious nudibranch. A few days after setting sail, me ship was caught in a terrible typhoon and was torn apart. I would have drowned, but some friendly sharks found me and set me ashore on Blood Island. There I was, marooned, with no hope of winning Elaine's heart. I thought me luck had run out, but one day a ship made port at Blood Island. Twas the ship of one Captain Marley, Elaine's own grandfather. I struck up a conversation with Rum Rogers Sr., first mate on the ship. And for the price of a few drinks, I learned that they had the map to the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Although I had no ship and no money. Hold on. Does this go on for much longer? Although I had no ship and no money, I planned to beat Marley's crew to the treasure and take it for myself. I didn't have the money to buy a new ship, but I still had my greatest asset. The ability to kill bugs just by breathing? But I still had my greatest asset. That uh, indefinable LeChuck charm. One of the rich young debutantes on Blood Island was helpless against it. After a week with me, she would have followed me to the grave. Unfortunately for her, she didn't get the chance. I pried the diamond from her family's engagement ring and sold it to some cutthroat smugglers for the cost of a new ship. All right, LeChuck! Was she hot? Did you kiss her? Well, uh, I... Uh, <laughs> oh, come on. You can tell me. I don't want to be talking about that. It'd be personal. And besides, dead men tell no tales. Oh, I was waiting for that one. With me new ship, I easily overtook Marley's crew and beat them to Big Whoop, which just so happened to be here on Monkey Island. What happened to Captain Marley and his crew? Their ship arrived at Monkey Island a half hour after mine. But they were too late to stop me from claiming me prize. And they watched me pass through the portal of Big Whoop. Craven cowards that they were, the power of what they saw overwhelmed them. They fled the island in terror. Marley tore his treasure map into four pieces and gathered his crew around him. There was Rum Rogers Sr., the first mate, Rap Scallion, the cook, and young Lindy, the cabin boy. Marley gave each a piece of the map, keeping one for himself. They promised to guard those map pieces with their lives. I saw to it that they kept their promise. They were the only people alive to know about Big Whoop. What happened to Rum Rogers Sr.? He was taking a bath in his cabin near Fat Island, drinking rum and eating toast, as he always did while bathing when the toaster mysteriously fell into the tub with him. Shocking. His son inherited the map piece, but was too much of a drunkard to understand its importance. <laughs> what happened to Rapt Scallion, the cook? Rapt Scallion died in a flash fire in his weenie hut on Scab Island. That's right. I brought him back to life with a voodoo spell. I remember it so vividly. Guybrush? Guybrush? Oh, I'm sorry, I was miles away. What were you saying? I knew about Rap's absent-minded tendency to leave his gas burners on. So I arranged for a fully lit cake to be delivered to him on his 35th birthday. Ha <laughs> ha! You can hear the explosion as far as Booty Island. That's horrible. Steaming weenie indeed. What became of young Lindy, the cabin boy? Fearing for his life, he came to me and begged for mercy. 
In return for not revealing the location of Big Whoop, I let him live. As a sign of me gratitude, I gave him a fortune which he used to build a successful advertising firm. Once he had grown accustomed to his wealthy lifestyle, I returned to collect me debt. I delivered to him an account so demonically ill-conceived that it was doomed to fail. Gangrene and honey. Within a month, he was penniless and insane, a broken man. He sold everything he owned and got so desperate, he fell in with a traveling circus. He was killed, but he was shot from a cannon without a helmet. No one could be that desperate. What fate befell Captain Marley? I ambushed him while he was racing in the America's Cup. I boarded his ship and decided to let him determine his own fate. He could grant me his blessing to have his granddaughter's hand in marriage, or he could suffer a death more horrible than any of his crewmates. Well, what'd he say? Actually, he said quite a few things. Oh, the pain. Stop it, you're killing me. <coughs> Some other things, I forget them all. I left him for dead and sent his ship into a whirlpool not even the most accomplished captain could escape. You're unbelievably ghastly and wretched. Oh, thanks. <laughs> what is the secret of Monkey Island? The secret of Monkey Island? I could tell you, but I'd rather make you guess. That a sequel can never be as good as the original? Lies! Filthy, dirty lies! No, it goes much deeper than that. It's an ancient secret, closely guarded uh, by the natives and uh, pirates who happen to... You don't even know the secret of Monkey Island, do you? No, not really. All right, then. Elaine will never marry you. She loves me. She does not. She loves me. Nuh-uh. She loves me. Does not. I've heard enough of your evil stories. Let's get this over with. But there'll be so many more horrible things I'd be wanting to tell you. I'm not listening to you anymore. See? I'm ignoring you. Ah, you'd better listen. La 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 la, I can't hear you. La 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 la. Very well, Freeport. If you're going to act like a child, I'll help you get in the mood. I think you deserve a timeout, young man. Yikes! <laughs>